Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, so don't me today. Today, um, was actually kind of crazy. Um, a lot has happened. Like, I literally just, I took a nap for a couple hours when I wake up to some stuff, but it's okay. But anyways, I'm gonna be recording a commentary story time about, like, my childhood stories. My embarrassing childhood stories, I guess. And you can give this video credit to Naya, not Naya, or Queen Naya, or just Naya in general, however you guys know her. Why are you hitting me with blocks in your fist? Weird ass challenge. This is like my first game on, so if I play bad, I'm sorry. Of course. Look at people, so crazy as what? Yes, 100 star. I swear it's always the 100 star is that always talking chat. Like, please, shut up. But anyways, in third grade, when my teacher would make us write like write notes and stuff, she had like, so obviously there's a carpet floor and then and she has like a carpet over it. <laughs> and then she would have like a whiteboard right in front of it. And so basically, while as we're like, as she's like, like giving us notes and I asked her if I could use the restroom and then she said no. She told me to wait till the lesson's over, which I couldn't wait. And so after like five more minutes, I asked again and she said no. And so I don't know what didn't ring in her head that it was urgent and I actually had to fucking pee. Oh, look at the sweat trying to target me. Yeah, run away. And so after she said no for the second time, I was like, you know, fuck it. I'm just going to pee on your carpet because you won't let me go. And so that's what I did. I peed on her carpet and I got kind of scared because I didn't want to tell her because the whole class would have known. But I told her anyways. And then I got embarrassed because everyone just like looked at me disgustedly. And so then she told me to go to the clinic so I can get a new pair of clothes. Of course. And then he pearls. Always the weird ass sweat. yeah bye how am i hacking it's called block okay oh my god i have to go back to the story but yeah i went to the clinic but you know what what was so embarrassing when i went outside the classroom there was a whole fucking line of of students like you know line leaders and stuff and as i was walking out i had to cover my ass and it was so it's so annoying because i literally had to cover my ass while i was walking to the clinic and everyone just looked at me stupidly and was like okay and so I, when I went to the clinic, I told the, the clinic lady that I literally peed my pants and she gave me like new clothes and I had to return it. I returned it after like after a couple of weeks. Not a KB stick. Yes, you're really good. But yeah, I actually had to return a couple weeks later because my mom said I had to. And so that's one embarrassing story gone. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what did you get for hack? He's aiding me. Oh, I won? Um, GG question mark. Okay, so in fifth grade, um, you know, we had pajama days and that would like happen like almost after a, f a few weeks on Fridays. And so I wore my pajamas on the wrong day. That's what happened basically. And it was kind of embarrassing because when I went on the bus, uh, my cousin was on there as well. And so he would sit behind me and I would ask him where's his pajamas and he said he's not wearing it. But he never told me that it was a pajama day. Like I was just still happy in my little Hello Kitty pajamas. And then after I went to school, I asked my friends like where their pajamas are and they said it's not pajama day. And I was like, you're crazy, right? Like you're hallucinating. Like I'm not the one hallucinating. I'm 100% sure I'm wearing my pajamas on the right day. Okay, good fight and so i kind of cried i was like i did not just embarrass myself like that and so then basically i literally cried as i was taking my bag to the restroom because before i was actually smart and i actually brought like extra clothes i didn't have like an extra um jacket or shirt though and so i only had an extra pair of jeans or just leggings and that's what i wore and it was on a very hot day, you know, um, in elementary school, you have recess. And so when we went out to recess, you just see my Hello Kitty PJ shirt and you just see me in my new um, pants. And girl, it was so hot outside. I literally almost died. Yeah, I guess that's somewhat embarrassing because my dumb ass was so excited for pajama day that I just couldn't wait. Actually, also in fifth grade, that was my like also when my that was also the first time I went bald because I actually had a story time on like my bald stories and I explained that in a video and yeah I actually went bald because I had lice if y'all didn't know yeah y'all can say oh my god that's so nasty ew, blah 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 
but yeah i had lice okay and you don't know how scared i was to uh go to school with no fucking hair because that whole process was just crazy and i ex never want to experience that again but anyways yeah when like i had a crush right and so when i went to school with my beanie on this my freaking music teacher kept telling me to take it off but my counselor like told her that it's okay i don't remember if i told her i told my counselor about like me being bald or whatever but i don't think i did but apparently she knew why and so when i had to go to class my teacher kept telling me to take off my beanie and i was like no i'm sorry i'm not taking this off and i told her if i could speak to her outside and she said okay and i told her like what happened and stuff and she felt bad and she was like it's okay you can take it off like no one's gonna judge you and it's just like okay and so i took it off and i walked back into class and i had a crush in that class and i remember he told me when like a few years like maybe like middle school that's when he told me that he thought i had like cancer or something so and i was like oh my god that's kind of embarrassing and i don't think he liked me because i know damn well he likes someone else but oh well i literally have like a story time of when um i made a story time video like when i lied to my crush a bunch of times to make him like me and stuff but yeah my teacher literally kept trying to show me like famous bald people to make me feel better about myself does it look like i'm famous i'm not famous oh i wanted to tease them okay uh gg i guess but anyways yeah i am not famous so i didn't even feel better myself and yeah I, w I literally have a bunch of like music leads. a lot of them is just me being bald in it and me being a fucking crackhead but yeah um enough about this i don't want the outro to be too long but yeah okay have a nice day bye i love you